Um, games. Oh, sorry. We're almost there. We're almost there. Vampire's Empire. That sounds kind of cool. <clears throat> How those starts? Yeah, Paul Norman. Loading now. Hints for answering questions. Do not use the in the title unless it is a book or film title. Spell all numbers, answers, and hyphenate two-digit numbers unless otherwise indicated by number. Use full names as commonly known unless the question asks for what? Last name. Or if only the last names are in use. <laughs> oh god, this shit. Graffy robbed me so many times by not following this correctly. Sorry. I'll do my best. <laughs> Augustly. <laughs> Alright, Graffy has to do all the typing anyway. Yeah, you're at my mercy. Uh, very quiet. Oh. <laughs> Is it too loud? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, top tier mage. Uh, the volume is fine. From Cosme. Gruffy cheating by entering everyone else's answers wrong. Where's the trivia monster rollback? Coming any day now. Hello, friends. We are going to play a game and have a frighteningly good time. But first, a few vital questions. How many players have we? Hold on. I need to change the transform just a bit. The cropping. There's like one pixel on either side and it's pissing me off. Yes, there we go. <clears throat> How's the volume now? Uh, or like, how was it? Sorry, it went up so suddenly. It can be sensitive to sounds. No, it's okay. I, I get that way too. Especially, it sounds like the horrible sound chip of the Commodore 64. Okay. Four. Excellent. Would you like to play teams? Do you guys want teams? Or do you want uh, free-for-all? Battle Royale? Who's gonna win? One player quiz, impossible to lose. No teams, only the strong survive. Okay. All right, player one. If your name has more than eight letters, please change it. <laughs> please type your name, a comma, and B or G for boy or girl. Okay, so Emily. Emily G. That's eight letters, right? I assume you want B. Oh, there it goes. Um, oh, sure. It just forced me to be a girl. I can see how it is. <laughs> and eight lives. I assume you want B. Doctors don't perform gender assignment. Graphite performs gender assignment. It's my, my world, bitch. Good. These remind me of like the intro to uh, Deltarune <laughs> when you make your character. Excellent. Um, which game will it be? I can't even remember the one that we played last last time. Um, uh, so we'll just go with one because I know we didn't play one. Yes, one. Please have side two in the drive and press return. Oh, I pressed 11, I think, on accident. 
Um, hold on. What's the... Uh, flip? List? What? Add... Attach next image. Huh? What? Oh no, did I just restart it? Sorry. No! <laughs> Sorry, I have to start over. I'm stupid. God damn it. Hard reset. I'm so sorry. Hey, Benji. Hi, Angie. How you doing? Hi, Angie. Why is it not starting? You pig. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Spent two hours setting up a work account on my computer. I hate Windows. How did it take two hours? Can audience members guess too? Uh, well, it's supposed to be just the four of them playing, cause um, you know, I have to type their answers in. A fresh account on Windows, you have to change a lot of things to make it not bad. Oh yeah, they do set it up to be shit from the from the jump. Why is it not progressing? Wowie. <laughs> Wowie. Thank you, Need. Wow, you've been subscribed for four months? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Why is nothing happening? What? Okay, finally progressed. I don't know what that was all about. We have to wait through this whole intro again. I'm sorry. Windows is cute. Siberia, didn't Windows delete your entire Linux partition recently? <laughs> what if it was the trivial monster and he was just not a big deal? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to make you think of that again, but it did happen. Welcome, friends. Yeah, I gotta put all this shit in again. Because I'm stupid. I'm gonna do a save state right here. Uh, are there save states? Uh, I guess not. Great. <laughs> Excellent. Cheating already, I see. No. I'm not cheating at all. Okay, here we go. Millie G. Uh. No! <laughs> backspace but it kept putting in it kept putting in T <laughs> why did it do that Gators <laughs> I'm so sorry, Augersley. 
<laughs> I like how you just accepted it. What am I supposed to do? Start the whole thing over again? A I T T T G R S. I see I can't play this game. I'm sorry, Benji. The people who are uh, playing were already selected. The company I work for is a Microsoft Gold partner, and all the software we use is Microsoft based. A I T T T G R S. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, press to return. Yes. Just a moment. Here we go. <clears throat> You want the audio turned up a little bit? <clears throat> Seems kind of quiet. Actually, to add an additional gender, M for monsters, you can just reuse the monster sprite. The trivia human <laughs> flipping the script. Damn. Let the games begin. All right. <laughs> um, it seems quiet. I'm gonna turn it up. Is that okay? It seems very quiet. I'm afraid it's gonna get really loud when the monster starts to his hack. <laughs> Genders are B Benji and G Graffy. Okay, you want one for science? All right. A black panther is actually what kind of animal? Not a panther? Final answer? Okay. Sorry, that is incorrect. I think it's a leopard, right? Yeah, I think you are correct. Did it say? I missed it. It's the curse. Make your selection. Two. High story. What actress met and wed a prince while making a film at Monaco in 1955? I'm sure you've got this one. <laughs> no. Sorry, that is incorrect. Who is it? Grace Kelly. Ah. Stunts. Two? Okay. High story. What American holiday resulted from a, 19, a 1621 treaty with the Wampanoag? What? Wampanoag? Native Americans. I don't know. Wait, this seems easy. All right. <laughs> Great. Great, stunts got points. Ugh. Hold on, I'm gonna... Settings, what's up with this... Nearest neighbor, why is it all fuzzy? Why is it all fuzzy looking? Oh well. Uh, I'll go two? Okay. After St. Peter, St. Linus was the second of these in 67 AD. The second what? It's fuzzy because we're using a CRT. <laughs> Linux kernel maintainer? Okay, Pope? Hey. Nice. I turned off the scan lines. That's an applause noise, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh... Tech Tipper. The Benji, a small African dog, is known for not doing what, Emily? <laughs> Shitting. <laughs> S 
sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Barking. Okay, Augursley, it's gonna automatically start. Executive Order 9066 allowed America to relocate which citizens in World War II? It's a kind of miserable question. Are you stuck on science now? Yeah, it makes you do the entire set of questions for the category. And you don't have any time to pause. <laughs> How is British soldier and agent Thomas Edward Lawrence commonly known? Yeah, that was a bad question. I think any kind of applause after that. <laughs> James Bond. Okay. Lawrence of Arabia. Oh. What fort was fired upon by southern soldiers to begin the Civil War? I have no fucking idea. The Alamo. <laughs> Shoot, don't know. I I can't imagine anybody would fucking know. Fort Lauderdale? I don't know. Sumter? I don't know. Yeah, what what is Yeah, we get it, monster. You're pissed that we don't know the damn questions. This fucking guy. Fort Sumter. Ah. Emily, your turn. What animal was once used in the medical procedure of phlebotomy? This is an easy one. Pachi, 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 pachi. Read it as lobotomy? <laughs> this because you're high as fuck. Augursley, you are up. What king was on the English throne during the American Revolution? Roman, nu Roman numeral. What? <laughs> Rom num. Uh. Romulan number. It's murder backwards. Henry VIII. Obviously not the answer. Three? Three of what? <laughs> Who? Who the third? Obviously. <laughs> hey, Dragonic dude. Welcome. Wait, what did it even say? Edward III? FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover served under how many presidents? Three the third. Oh, thought it just wanted the numeral. <laughs> Three? Three? Sorry, stunts. You're doomed. How many was it? They sure make you take your damn time. <laughs> Nine. What the fuck? It's a long fucking time. <laughs> what word was misspelled on the Liberty Bell when it was cast? <laughs> Emily, we can pause after this uh, round of questions. Bell, Philadelphia, uh, no, Bagel Bites. Lily, why do you know this? Why do, like, 
non-Americans even know about J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> Pennsylvania. What? <laughs> That's pretty fucking hilarious. Oh, Emily, if you need to use the restroom, now's the time. Because we're at category selection. It was literally my A-level. Oh, Cold War stuff. What the fuck is A-level? It's a shitty question. How do you know if the answer has to be misspelled? <laughs> I'll do it next round? Okay. Four. Grab bag. Okay. What happened to your BRB graphic? Oh, I just... I never... I switched to regular OBS, and then I never ended up uh, importing my BRB back in. I should probably just do that. And I was going to make new graphics, because I like to have... Uh, everything on my stream be made by me, so... But then I kept not getting around to it. Well, I believe it now disputed what? Who was credited with designing Old Glory? What? <laughs> what the hell is this phrasing? <laughs> Yeah, this one's actually pretty easy, though. If you're an American, you guys are doomed because you and Stunts are both British. <laughs> I refuse to answer out of protest. What is Old Glory, the American flag? I think? <laughs> Betsy Rousseau. <laughs> Dummy. Yeah, Breasty Ross. Can't give me that hint when it's already too late, you asshole. Sorry. <laughs> it's not my fault you're not American. Okay, Augursley. <laughs> Your category. Showbiz. <laughs> With two Zs. <laughs> Is that why there's a flag at the Betsy Ross Museum? Are you making a goof? <laughs> are, you, are you referencing the drill tweet? All right, showbiz. This Jefferson Starship airplane, female singer, still rocks after 20 years. This is pretty easy. <laughs> Buddy, they won't even let me. Can't remember her name. This question seems very non-objective. Cool lady. I think her name is Grace... Grace Slick? Yeah. You're supposed to be a boomer too, Augursley. I'm gonna turn the game down a little bit. It seems kind of loud. That's a porn name. <laughs> Emily! Five? Okay. The Farts. Name the Beethoven Symphony that was the first to use Sankers and a Chorus. Five? Oh wait, no, that's not your answer. Fifth? Okay. Close. Try again. Whoa! What? Ninth? lives your category one okay a female black widow spider has a red mark on its abdomen what shape is it this is bullshit this is bullshit <laughs> a female it's not like there wasn't enough space to type that
Emily, you are up. Who was Batman's normal identity? <laughs> Emily, <laughs> you not know this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, thank you, I was actually so high I forgot his name. Emily, you're playing a dangerous game here. To the Joker, this is his crazy identity. Very good. Do you know me? Now he sells credit cards, but he was a king of the row. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grizzly, I'm sure you've got this one in the bag. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't get the wording in some of those. Yeah, it's they're worded really strange. Probably because this was made by one person. <laughs> How am I winning? Because you're the only one smoking weed. <laughs> That's giving you power. Roger Miller? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Stunts. What Austrian classical composer finished 626 works before dying at 35? Do you know? Pawn, it's Mozart. Wow. Nice one. <laughs> Come on. Eight lives. <laughs> it's for you. A structure in the common body. What is the tympanic membrane called? C M P O N. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you for the bits. This is the same guy who made uh, Forbidden Forest, right? Yes, correct. That is correct. And I think one other game. Come on. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> oh. I've never heard of that one. Guess the cell wall. Ah. Uh. You ran out of time. It's eardrum, right? Yes. Correct. Oh, that sound. Eardrum. Emily. It's all up to you. What men claimed under hypnosis to have been aboard a UFO with wife Betty? Tympanic's a good name for that. Yeah, the tympanic membrane. Fred. Nose snare. I don't know ufology shit. Art Bell. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> uh, let's make up a name. Fred Beatty. Well, at least it's not taking away points for wrong answers yet. Barney Hill. Yeah, everyone knows him. Can't believe you couldn't get that, Emily. What the hell's wrong with you? We okay, Augustly, we're glad the captain and Tanil brought back Neil Sadaka with the song. <laughs> Barney Rubble. <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> Love will keep us together. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> Stunts. Said to have invented the detective story, Poe named his sleuth C.A. what? C-A-P-P. -P. 
Is Love Will Tear Us Apart's title a play on that? Maybe. Could be. You do know that song? It's pretty bad. <laughs> See a big ass. Alright. See a bitch. Dupin. I never would have known that. Eight lives. It is your turn. Name the first. Name the American professor who fired the first liquid fuel rockets. a dupin because he spots duping fucking genius oh i don't know let's go with dupin maybe uh is your do you have your twitch thing on robert goddard on like low latency or Emily, do you need uh, to go to the restroom? <laughs> you said you would go next round last time. Ah! I'm too focused now. Okay, what what is your next category? Should I do five or two? Two. Okay, two. All right. Heistory. What was Confederate General Robert E. Lee's middle name? I don't fucking know this. I went to American high school over there. Teach you all about the Civil War. Entertainment, not my final answer. I was thinking, I don't know the answer, but should think of a funny way to say it. <laughs> I see. Extra. Eggman. Let's go with Ernest. Damn. Is it Edward? Edward Elric. Oh wow, how did you know that? Augursley. What is your category? <laughs> Grabbing. What American markswoman appeared with Buffalo Bill's Wild West show? This one's easy. Wait, what? What just happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> you weren't gonna get that anyway, obviously. Grab egg. <laughs> Grab egg. <laughs> I'm sorry, obviously. You want four? Okay. Who is the wizard of King Arthur's court? Fuck this. Why do you get all the easy ones? You pig. Merlin. <laughs> Augustly, would you have even gotten that? If it... Annie Oakley? I never heard of her. Eight lives. Your category, please. Looks <laughs> proudly standing up and bowing after a super easy question. <laughs> Six, show biz. Only ate canned food. The German shepherd who worked with. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> Rin Tin Tin. What? What the hell? How do you know that? What the fuck is that bullshit? <laughs> um, 
Who was the youngest man elected president of the United States? Uh, it was pre Lassie Lassie show. Barack Obama. That's true now. Uh, yes, I want to say Obama. <laughs> Oh, you didn't mean to actually answer that? Oh, I'm sorry. Who is it? McKinley? I don't know. John Kennedy. Oh, that makes sense. Nobody would know him as anything but John F. Kennedy, though. In general, what is the lowest ranking army general called? I don't fucking know, Augersley. You begin military history? Raffi, do you just make up the losing points for wrong answers thing? No. One star? Oh no. No, no, no. On the second, from the second, uh, after you exhaust all six categories, you go into a second brigadier. What the fuck? You go to a second loop. Uh, the breeding hole. Oh my god. <laughs> Emily, what is the capital of Australia? <laughs> Canberra? Is that true? Is that what you really want to answer? Is that what it's called? What? I don't know what it's called. You have to you have to tell me. I don't know what it is. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought you were joking. I don't know that it's that. I've never heard that name before. <laughs> Emily. <laughs> Frank Sinatra's Vegas clan included Davis, Bishop, Martin, and who else? Oh, a lot of people think it's Sydney. Yeah, I would have thought that. I never heard of Canberra in my life. <gasps> I'm losing my mind playing this. I'm not even playing it, I'm just administering it. I should know this. Shoot, should you? I don't know. the news use Canberra as a metonym to refer to the Australian federal government all the time? I don't know. I never heard that. Lawford? Well, I don't blame you for not knowing that. No one would know that. <laughs> Emily, what name did the Wright brothers give to the first airplane in 1903? <laughs> Hello, rival. Welcome. Shit, I read this on Wikipedia lunch. They were the original Ocean's Eleven, so there were a lot of them. Uh, Fred? Okay. Shit copter. <coughs> you know the location? Yeah, Kitty Hawk. I like how the, the intermission flyer. That is not even a name. Stupid question. <laughs> Augersley, what is the hill in Athens, Greece on which the Parthenon stands? <laughs> Flying Dutch American. <laughs> what did they call their first plane? First plane. Augersley may have fell asleep. <laughs> Augersley has been assassinated. Yeah, Emily did it. The Acropolis. What's the name of the weird guy always on the cover of <laughs> Mad Magazine? Fuck you, honestly. <laughs> Fuck you, stunts, for getting all these easy questions.
He's a normal guy, WTF. <laughs> the weird guy? You guys not know? Albert? I know. I was a Mad Magazine head when I was a little kid. <laughs> so I know. Yeah, obviously you missed it entirely. Norman Reedus. It's Alfred E. Newman. He's got big ears. They always draw him exactly the same. Oh, I, I didn't even know that it was spelled with a U instead of a W, though. I would have gotten that wrong. Gail Storm had two successful TV series, Oh Susanna, and this other one. Eight Lives. Your answer. You know Mingus is in his 20s. It's kind of weird. I didn't realize Norman Reedus was so old. Getting easy questions like Mocha. <laughs> Lassie. No. You're getting a bad, a bad hand. You and Augursley keep getting bad situations. My little Margie, of course. Emily. Your next category. Okay, now I need to pee. Okay. We will wait. We'll wait. Oh, my jaw kind of hurts from laughing. <laughs> I... I love this game. <laughs> uh. Stretch. <laughs> Ah. Feels good. How are you all doing? Are you enjoying yourselves? On another wonderful trip through the world of Trivia Monster and a bunch of trivia questions that fucking nobody that's was born in like the past four decades would even know i am filled with angst <laughs> why are you okay i'm good i made a fresh pot of coffee anybody want a fresh pot of coffee i just made coffee good that's good to hear i'm winning but i know i'm going to lose all of that really soon The farts, lol. What? <laughs> Thank you for grading my throwaway awu. Having fun, taking some soothing baths to ease my suffering. Wonderful. I've been thinking about taking a bath this evening as well. Playing a little bit of Higarashi while I'm in there. Baths are great, yes. Much, much agreed. I had to do an Epsom salt earlier myself. Everybody is in on baths. You still haven't bathed? Me? What do you mean? Since we chatted, what do you mean? I took a shower... Either yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. <clears throat> what you playing Higu on? Uh, it's on Steam, but I, I use Steam Link to play it on my phone. Which is a nice way to play it. <laughs> Lying voice. Yeah, yesterday. No, it was definitely yesterday. <laughs> like yesterday morning. No, maybe it was the day before. I can't remember. Last I heard, you were going on three days of filth. No! Now that it's warm enough that I can take a bath, uh, I try not to go more than every other day. Hikarashi connected to Umineko. Uh, I don't think that they have any plot connection, but they are made by the same person. Uh, Ryukishi. Yes, but don't worry about it? What? Well, I don't want to hear any more about that. Don't say don't say anything about the plot of either of those games, because I haven't finished either of them. 
I'm really enjoying Higurashi. There's like this insane fucking just the the zany parts uh, at the beginning of of uh, every chapter <laughs> are so ridiculous. They are like so boring that they become like hilarious. Sorry, I just read Umineko. Oh, you did? Seems like people uh, like that one a lot. It sounds cool. Did you see that plushie of the wacky machete? Yes. <laughs> I like the idea of cuddling something that's just the plush of a, a tool that people are murdered with. <laughs> I was looking at giant isopod plushies before. Nice. What was this about murder plushes? We're talking about the plush of Rena the hatchet from, from uh, Higurashi. Do I do five or six? I don't know. What do you do? Hmm. <laughs> what will she choose? I'm gonna do five. Okay. Five. What fictional cracked knight errant changes his name from Alonso Kihara? Don Quixote. Yeah! Congratulations. Did you say you can go down to negative points? I don't know if it's negative or if it just goes to zero. I can't remember. Augustly, your category for this next round. Sports? All right. What school did Coach Nut Rockney put the football map? Put on the football map. Nut, Nut Rockney. That's fucking fake. That's a fake name. No one has ever been named that. Nut Rockney, Ted Gonzalez, Rutgers? Oh. That's too bad. Norwegian, apparently. Uh, Notre Dame. Our Dame. Stunts. Oh, yes. Sorry, Eight Lives. I did not realize you were uh, not prepared. Um, well, at least we wouldn't have been able to progress if you hadn't chosen a category. <laughs> so you wouldn't have been left behind or anything. Okay, one. In what country was theoretical physicist Albert Einstein born? Austria? Stuns. <sighs> you know, I think that your day in the sun is coming to an end. Germany. Yeah, you missed it. I'm so disappointed in you. Eight lives. Which which category would you like to explore? Five? Okay. A far, far better rest I go to than I have ever known. Last line of? What? Graffy, I'll start crying for real, and then you'll be sorry. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings. Me. Oh, are you going to sleep, Ilya? Rugrats. I guess Henry David Thoreau. Do you mean Walden? Tale of Two Cities. That's a person. It? <laughs> a source of a different color. Who wrote The Confessions of Nat Turner? What? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? My brain is telling me I know this, but I don't. I have no idea what this is even asking. Oh wait, but like, why do, what is that part at the beginning of the question? 
I thought they were talking about a person's dying where it's not a book. Oh, I see. Well, these questions are written insanely confusingly. Oh, okay. Well. Manual raid? Hey, stalker. How's it going? Mocha sent you? What's up? How y'all doing? We arrive. Welcome. What were you guys doing? Like, uh... You were watching something? The LA Dodgers swept the 1963 World Series thanks largely to the pitcher, August Lee. It's all up to you. Bane wrote. <laughs> John Thrower. Okay. I'm sorry. Mocha played Mocha Gear. Oh, awesome. That looked very fun. <laughs> From what I saw in the screenshots on Twitter. What, what was it? What did it even say? I don't know. Localized solar magneto hydrodynamic subsurface disturbances are called. What? <laughs> Hi, Vinny and Timmy. Solar flares. Solar flare. Oh. Sandy Koufax? I don't know. Good guess. What does it say? Sunspots? Hey, Mocha. <laughs> yep, it's this game again. Uh, it was Sunspots. Ah. Hey, we all played this together. Hey, Drop. How are you doing? <laughs> From the French, let us guzzle. What word means to ridicule satirically? What? <laughs> Eight lives. It's your turn. I won last time. It was cool. Heckle? No. I'm sorry. Guzzle? What are you making that face for? Lampoon. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh... I didn't win. Sorry for lying. You should be sorry. Emily, only half listening. Van Gogh cut an ear off in a dispute with what artist? I have two faces only. Blushing and Pien. I forget. I don't know. I don't know this. <laughs> don't feel bad about it. A dispute? I don't know. Was it a dispute or was it something else? Van Cough. Van Cough. Okay. It's Paul Gooigi. Thought he was in love with the girl. I don't know. Paul Gauguin. I don't know. He gave her his ear. I don't know. Tennis pro and dreamer Bobby Riggs wrote a book about himself called. <laughs> Augursley. This is a. Real easy one. The game is just handing you easy question after easy question. The secret. <laughs> Tennis. Okay. The monster is gonna get in. Hi, Lily Hops. Yeah, the sounds are horrible in this game. Court Hustler? <laughs> the Scream of the Planet? Deoxy? What the hell? Deoxyribonucleic acid is a genetic molecule. How is it usually termed? This is not a 30 point question. This is bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you, stunts. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Stunts is hacking. <laughs> what inspector pursues Jean Valjean in Hugo's novel Les M M Miserables? I can't say it right, I'm sorry. Valjean, at last, we see each other plain. Wolverine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh. Sorry. You had it right, just wasn't spelled correct. 
You shouldn't have said Wolverine. I took that as the, the correct, uh, <laughs> the, the answer you wanted to put in. Emily, your category, please. Oh, ugh. Graffy's cheating for stunts. What did I do? If I pick six, I get sports in the final round, which... Okay, so the way that the points deduction thing works is after we've depleted all six categories in this round, they refill each categories, like, and you do another set. Uh, and if you get those wrong, it deducts points. <laughs> so... I guess uh, in the second round, it might be strategic to take sports first so that the sports questions don't wipe out all of your points that you get from other questions. This is just my recommendation. You can do whatever you want, but the sports questions are always going to wipe you out because I don't think any of us has ever gotten one of them correct. <laughs> I voted augustly in the pool, but I guess he's still at zero points since you fucked up his name. Yeah, that's the curse. I think that's entirely why he's been he's been doing bad. Help, I said six and it's not showing up. <laughs> it's not my fault. How can I help you? All right, here we go. Star Trek ships, Dr. What? Star Trek's ships, Dr. Leonard McCoy's. Oh, ships doctor. Leonard McCoy's nickname was, this is easy. This is easy if you're a fucking nerd. This is easy peasy. Come on! Are you a nerd, Emily? The good news is that I'm blanking. <laughs> Come on! You got this. I haven't seen that much of TOS, but I should definitely know this. <laughs> oh. It's bones! No bones about it. Inaccurate question. Refuse to answer. Yeah, it's McCoy with a C, isn't it? I don't know. I, I've never seen it in text. Augustly. Autodigers. Your category. I believe in you. <laughs> this is the round for you, right? The art. <laughs> in his last period, he composed his greatest symphony totally deaf. Who? Hello, Raccoon Violet. Welcome. <laughs> Beethoven. Congratulations. You finally got another question correct. Elvis. Alvis. Pete Townsend, because it says who in the question. Wow, you're so smart, Emily. Alright. Stunts. Showbiz. Alright, here we go. Who introduced the twist? But Beethoven's the dog from that movie. Yeah, you're right. Can you believe a dog composed a symphony? What if Beethoven composed music for games? That'd be nuts. He did. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, like that song, like doing the twist. Chevy Chase. Sorry, that is incorrect. I know that was a joke, Gans. Oh no, I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna get ya. Chubby Checker? What the hell? I never heard of that before. Eight lives. You're up. Please grab me, monster. Hey, now. Maybe if we actually get it to break in this time. What band members automobile license reads A1, A, N, A2? What? <laughs> oh, wait. I think I... Wait, what? You know this? What is this? Classic reference. This. Clueless white snake? You want me to put that in? No.
Lawrence Welk. I, have, I don't even know who that is. Emily. In what city was the TV classic Gunsmoke set? Delete City. <laughs> Delete City. So it has to be a city, oh, city with city in the name Kansas. Okay. <laughs> Delete City. Uh, Salt Lake City. I don't know. Dodge City. What the hell? I never knew that. Dodge was called Dodge City. Poketa, Poketa, Poketa is an onomatopoeic line in what Thurber story? <laughs> what the hell kind of question is this? <laughs> well, I know James Thurber. He's like a kind of a humorous like writer from mid-century, like 20th century. I have no idea what the story is. <laughs> These questions are awful. <laughs> the Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Oh, I didn't realize he wrote that. Stunts. Woody Allen, Neil Simon, and Mel Brooks have all been writers for this show. Now for Stunt's question, what is the third planet from the sun? Alright. No. Who are any of these people? Yeah, that's basically how every question in this game goes. <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I, I'm kind of curious what this is actually going to be though. I'm gonna get ya. Your show of shows. I've never fucking heard of that. I've never heard of that a second in my entire fucking life. Eight lives. Of the birthday children in the poem, which child works hard for a living? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bur <laughs> Bur birthday children? Birthday children in the poem? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever sings, she works hard for the money. I don't even know what are you talking about? <laughs> what? We didn't even get a horrible sound effect that time. Oh. It was just late. Saturdays. What? <clears throat> Steve Allen used to conduct loony man on the street interviews with Lewis Who. <laughs> I have no idea who Steve Allen even is. Uh. <laughs> Lewis Thoreau. How did people live like this? I don't know, it was the 80s. People probably loved this shit. People from the 80s probably would just be like... You don't know... You don't know... What was that? The something? This this shows your show or whatever? What the hell was that? Louis, Louis Nye? What? Augursley. Critic Vossel coined what term to mock the work of Picasso? Brack. What? Pop culture references from 50 years ago that not even your parents would know. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if my parents could... Show Brock? Okay. Whoa. That's not right at all. Brock. Brock. Maybe my grandma would know these. Cubism. What? That was a mocking term originally? I never knew that. It doesn't grow on trees. What was Jack Benny's theme song? What? <laughs> Thank you, Top Tier Mage. Oh, that's what the fucking question was asking? Money? 
incorrect. <laughs> I don't think they would make something that easy a 30 point question. Maybe only if Stunts is at the wheel. It was early 80s too. If this was three years later, it would be way easier. Are you sure? <laughs> Thought by some to be Atlantis, the Minoan civilization rose on the Isle of... Wait, what was the answer to that question? Even? The Ilse. Yes. <laughs> uh, Merlin was a 30-pointer, wasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Love the Bloom. Crete? Hey, eight lives! Congratulations! Pachi, 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 pachi. <laughs> Finally! Emily, I hope that you're prepared because you're about to take on the sports category. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> what is Jimmy the Greek's last name? Now entering Babe Ruth zone. Greek. Greek. The Yiannopoulos. Am I spelling that right? No. You're wrong. <sighs> Snyder. It would be a struggle to get even contemporary sports cat questions. Augustly, are you prepared for science? In electronics, LED means light emitting diode. What does LCD mean? Liquid crystal display. That's quite a long what? Liquid quartz display? What? I'm sorry, but it seems that the game is completely rigged against you. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry by the end of this. Alright, stunts, here we go. It makes me shake to think about it. An archer carries his arrows in. <laughs> Good luck, eight lives. Dallas, Texas is the home of what bowl game? Uh, welcome back, Siberia. There's gonna be plenty of giggles to go around. Uh. Bowl game. The bowl. What is, what is that even asking? It's not the Super Bowl. It's, it's one of those. It's not the Super Bowl, though, is it? Super? No, oh, I think it's the Rose Bowl. Hello, Cloud. Welcome, welcome. Cotton? What the fuck? I've never fucking heard of that. <laughs> the Texas Bowl. It's far more likely. What did wrestler Gorgeous George have sprayed in the ring before a bout? <laughs> Poison. Augursley. Wait, no, this is Emily. Uh, 
<laughs> Semen? Okay, Emily. <laughs> My other guess was <coughs> going to be bowling. Huh? What is this? Chanel number five. What the hell? That's not gonna be the answer. It could have been. You don't know. What must a heifer do to become a cow? Augursley. Have big milkies. Spraying perfume? Produce milk. Birth? Oh. <laughs> Astic Astifgas OP. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, Augursley's just being <laughs> robbed over and over again. <laughs> Stunts. Two words of birds of a feather. What team did Dizzy and Daffy Dean play for? <laughs> Daffy Dean. <laughs> <laughs> The Mighty Ducks, okay. Yeah, it did tell Stunts close and let him pick another answer when he was completely wrong. The Los Angeles Bird Flock, the fucking Looney Tunes Squad and Space Jam. St. Louis Cardinals. Why is this the Harass Popcornsley stream? Cause games are cruel. What was Ty Cobb's nickname? Use the. No, no idea. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe August Lee is getting, getting screwed over because he didn't make any popcorn. <laughs> the Force? <laughs> the Corn? Is it really gonna be the Corn? Is it gonna be the Corn? The Georgia Peach? Like peach cobbler, maybe? I guess? <laughs> A cricket side consists of what number of players? Emily, you're British, you got this. Come on. This is like the one the one sports question you could possibly get right. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh six? Oh wait, I have to write it out. Cricket is insane though. I don't know anything about it. Wait, did I type it wrong? 11? What the hell? Augursley. <laughs> In medicine, if a patient is judged cyanotic, how does his skin appear? Cyan? Uh, Augursley? Are you sure you want to type? All right. <laughs> oh, you were too late. <laughs> the New York Mets surprise World Series victory was under whose management? Stuns. This is actually a bad one for you this time. <laughs> Blady Ruth. <laughs> Mine. I did it. Congratulations, Eight Lives. Gil Hodges. Never heard of him. Huh. George Blanda, in 26 years of football, played for Chicago, Houston, and who? Who? It's getting really hot in my room. I don't know why. Probably because it's fucking July. <laughs> Dallas. It's a lad. Oh. Probably the sun. No. The sun hasn't been seen in years. Hydrate. Thank you. Cleveland. Do you actually know this? Oakland. Well, you were close. You had land. 
Whoa! Uh, sorry, photosensitivity warning. Oh, augursly. <laughs> You're dead. I need to turn on my fan. I need to turn on my fan so that I don't get roasted here. Hold on. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, let's maybe put a photosensitive warning though. Yes, you are right. Let's do that. Uh, text, text, yes. Photosensitivity warning. Um, I'm gonna put it in red, select color. Red, yes. Outline. It's so big. Whoa! What the hell? I'll put it at the top. Yes. There we go. Okay. Oof. Did Augursley score so low the monster came? Yeah, I guess that happens to whoever came in last for a round, but we didn't see that the last time we played this game. That did not happen. Oh my god. <laughs> um, uh, wait, what the hell? Two? Emily, you are ready? Alright. Two. Remember, you will lose points for wrong questions in this round. So, good luck. Who has been the Emperor of Japan since 1926? Remember, this game came out in the early 80s. <laughs> oh, it fucked up? Huh? What happened? Akihito? No. Oh, Hirohito. Can't believe the series of events that led to this. What do you mean? <laughs> Three? You want sports? <laughs> it's gonna wipe out your high score. But which sports has the greatest attendance in America? The war crimes emperor. American football. I'm sorry, stunts, but your legacy is coming to an end. H horse racing? <laughs> what? at the grab bag. Uh, in what state is Yale University? <laughs> Medieval era game. Yeah, I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> 50 points for this? I don't know. I don't even know. Connecticut? Congratulations, 8 lives. 
you are now the proud owner of 50 new coins. Taking you to the top of the charts. Huh. What well-known man in history was born with the last name Schick Schickle Gruber? Schlickle Gruber. <laughs> Herman. Nice try, but... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Alex Karas and Paul Hornung were suspended for the 1963 reason. For what? Doping? Oh. <laughs> oh. Gambling. Uh. Wyatt Earp carried a custom made gun which bore the name of its maker. I don't know. What the fuck is this question? Yeah, I don't know. Smith and Wesson. No. Wyatt ERP. <laughs> nice. Nice one. <coughs> Buntline special. Yeah, everybody fucking knows that. Come on. Give me a break, you guys. In the battle at Fort Sumter, 4,000 shells were fired. How many men died? <laughs> to the exact digit, Emily. Glad I wasn't wrong by technicality. Zero? None? Wait, if you put in zero, it would have said you were wrong. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> sure, Green Bay won the first Super Bowl, but who lost? I like how when your points go to zero... Uh... Your score just disappears entirely. Uh -huh. <sighs> My face hurts so bad from laughing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs? They probably don't even exist anymore. P.T. Barnum of Barnum and Bailey fame was an outrageous showman. What's P.T.? <laughs> Playable teaser. A Kojima game. It's a horror game. Paratrooper? It's probably Paul Thomas. Phineas Taylor? Fuck you! <laughs> what a demonic fucking game. Emily, your turn to choose a new category. Phineas and Ferb motherfucker. Also played by Wolverine man. What? My fault for not watching the greatest showman movie. Four? Okay. Garb bag. The Northern Lights are called Aurora Borealis. The Aurora Australis are the. This is pretty fucking easy. Emily, congratulations. <laughs> You're doing so good, Emily. Stunts. Make your choice. <laughs> One. 
Okay. Originally, the span of a man's arms, a fathom, now, is how many feet? You were too smug, stunts. The game does not favor you anymore. <laughs> Aurora Australis is in my living room right now. Or? Okay. Sorry. Looks like your luck has run out, buddy. Depends on your arms, right? Oh, six feet. Ah. Eight lives. Your fate for this next round. One. What is the green pigment essential to plants for photosynthesis? This is easy. How do you spell this, though? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna type it in exactly as you wrote it, okay? Two L's? I'm glad it was merciful this time. Excellent. <clears throat> Last time it was nepotism, not mercy. What? Thanks to a big hit movie. You know, George Leroy Parker's famous alias. <laughs> yeah, you know this, Emily. My answer is no. <laughs> the hit feature film. What is this gonna be? Oh, this one. You don't know this. Fuck you. Butch Cat. What? Huh? Plus the Sundance Kid. Fuck you. <laughs> Stunts. In 1842, the first use of general anesthesia was by C.W. Long. Name it. Can you- can you name it? Stunts? If you're so fucking smart, can you name this? What's the first- the first general anesthesia? Chloroform? I'm sorry, but that's incorrect. Ether. It restores your magic points. Just a little joke for the gamers out there. In astronomy, a vast cloud of gas or dust in space is called a what? I'm sweating as though I'm actually going to die. Stunts. Quasar? Okay. It's a nebula. Quasar is a, like a star with a that spins, like or something, and it flashes. Nebula, auger sleep. Ow, my back. What bridge did Billy Joe McAllister jump off of, according to Bobby Gentry? <laughs> I don't know who either of these people are. You know this? <laughs> Fuck you, stunts. Uh. Golden Gate Bridge, okay. I'm just gonna type Golden Gate. All right, I'll type bridge, actually, because you typed bridge. He invented gentrification. Tallahatchie? How do you know that? You're fucking British. How do you know this bullshit? Nobody was gonna get that spelling right. Absolutely fucking not. Stunts. In astronomy, what actually are the Magellanic Clouds? Actually, what actually are the Magellanic Clouds? Stars. Sorry. That's incorrect. Galaxies. I didn't know that. As astronomically defined, what is a morning star? 
Fun fact, Aether doesn't restore magic points. You get magic points by sleeping, and Aether puts you in sleep in the middle of a battle. That's <laughs> that's very funny, but what is the answer to this question, A Lives? <laughs> that's a weapon, not a star. <laughs> Damn. I like how you all have zero points now. <laughs> Brutality. Oh, trivia monster. Cannot be understated. Planet. What? Emily. Your decision. I still have 20, suckers. Are you sure? But you're dead. Okay, number one. A bovine ruminant. How many stomachs does a cow have? This is, this is really fucking easy. The game's taking pity on you because it knows that you are five years old. It's either two or three, so, uh, two. If you insist, Emily. <laughs> Oh, you want six. I thought you were saying cows have six stomachs. Done. Okay. Show biz. How did Archie often refer to Edith on All in the Family? <laughs> it's anyone's game now. I think it's the monster's game now. I think it's Trivia Monster's name now. My. <laughs> okay, stunts. I'm typing that. <laughs> Dingbat? What? Never heard that before. Eight lives. <laughs> Choose your execution method. Let's go five, okay. Likely stories. What French author is considered the first sci-fi writer? This is easy. Not the inside of a cow, at least. Well, we'll take you to the cow the cow splitting factory. Remember when Augursley was fucking murdered? Yeah, it's gonna happen to all of you. No. It's Jules Verne. Wait. I thought that was eight lives. No, that was eight lives. Stunt? <laughs> Emily. Wait, why is this for 20 points? What? What? It said 20 points, now it says 50. The spot on the Earth's surface over the focus of an earthquake is what? Epicenter? Wow! <laughs> Emily! You might be the only one who can beat Trivia Monster. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what does this say? <laughs> Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Name the tall gold robot in Star Wars. <laughs> oh. Star Wars just came out. I guess so. It ain't me, babe. Robert Zimmerman named himself after what Welsh poet? I have no fucking idea. Augursley, disputing the validity of the answer, saying that the game is wrong. The game's never wrong. We know this. <laughs> Mary Shelley. <laughs>
Dylan Thomas? I don't know who that is. <laughs> Emily. Molten rock after it leaves the volcano is lava. What is it before? <laughs> Magma. Wow. Emily, you're so smart. Who but a smart person would have 100 points in the second round of Trivia Monster? <laughs> Actress Susan Back Backlinny has the distinction of being the first victim in stunts. <laughs> Psycho? Sorry. Why does eight lives get impossible questions in these two get fucking what's two plus two? Curses. Of course. What did it even say? What conductor of the NBC Symphony once equated big breasts with low IQ? <laughs> what the fuck? Dolly Parton? Okay. Uh. <laughs> Arturo Toscanini. <laughs> what the fuck is who? Emily. <laughs> Five. The arts. Well, here we go. A real eyeful in 1889. What was the highest structure ever known? There's a really big hint in this question. <laughs> Name. <laughs> Emily, pulling ahead with the highest score we have yet seen in the history of Trivia Monster. Emily, small genius going to take take home the prize take home the golden trophy stunts selecting history as this category the chinese american dish first served in 1896 to grover cleveland there's another round after right i don't know i don't know i can't remember kung pao chicken okay You're wrong. Can't wait for everyone to hit rock bottom. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I like how the sounds for the cracks forming in the wall. Oh, chop suey. Still happen, but they don't, like, you don't see the wall cracking any longer. Eight lives. Two? Okay. Heistory. What unexpected snack did the Indians give the pilgrims at that first dinner? I should have said Native Americans, I'm sorry. Popcorn. Wow. Alice is 18 popcorn. <laughs> Thank you, Walkersley. Right on cue. <laughs> How did you know that? Alice is 18 popcorn. <laughs> Speaking of doublespeak, Eric Arthur Blair is the real name of what writer? They're really giving you these. <laughs> Fuck off. I like how pleased Emily's avatar looks <laughs> with herself. <laughs> what was the name of the sheriff who shot and killed Billy the Kid? Stunts. Why does he give you so many like Old West questions? Why are there, there's a lot of those in this. Cowboy ass questions. <laughs> Billy the man. <laughs> Ow. Uh, 5,000 points. Uh. 
Sheriff Woody. Uh, oh. Uh. Pat Garrett. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Who is the first uh, black American to become a U.S. Supreme Court justice? I was gonna say, the sprite has some real jugs. Yeah, they they got that shrink wrap look. Yeah, the wording, bad. <laughs> nah, not so good. I know the name, fuck. Brown? No. Is it like Clarence Thomas? Am I, am I wrong? What? Clarence Thomas was 90s? Wait, really? They're good Marshall. I don't know anything about the Supreme Court. How do you know that, Emily? What the fuck? <laughs> A leading lady. Who was the first woman to conduct the Metropolitan Opera? Hillary Clinton. Yes, of course. <laughs> Stalker Alker, Mary Shelley. <laughs> Ow. Oh no. Sarah Caldwell. Oh. What was the name of the capsule John and Glenn used to orbit the Earth? Orb orbit the Earth. Orbit. Stunts. It's your time. The Glenn Mobile. Orbit the Earth. Time cube. The s <laughs> the spacecraft. Is it Apollo 11? I don't know. Flyer. <laughs> Flyer. Friendship 7. Okay. We had no chance. We had no fucking chance. <laughs> not fucking happening. What was the name of the only US battleship not named after a state? Eight lives. Friendship 7. Wow. The Monopoly Battleship. Okay, Monopoly. Is it Texas? K what? What? Kearsarge? What the fuck is that? Uh... Graph. What? What did I do? Is this the last round? No, no, I don't know. There's two more. There's two more categories. <clears throat> okay, then three. Alright. <laughs> what was Babe Ruth's first name? I'm glad that Babe Ruth finally showed up. <laughs> Babe. Okay. Babbert. <laughs> I can't believe a Babe Ruth question actually actually showed up. Booba. Booba Ruth. George. How are you supposed to know that? I don't know. I don't know, I don't believe in anything anymore. Stunts. Four. Grabig. What is the motto of the Boy Scouts of America? The Biscuits of America. Kill or be killed. Sell the fucking popcorn. <laughs> 
be prepared. Wow, you actually know that? Why? Next question. Oh, next category. Sports or showbiz? Okay, sports. Which casino game earns Las Vegas the most money? This is not... This is not a sports question. This is a gambling question. Paul Norman? Can I get him on the phone? Roulette? Esports. gonna be blackjack or some shit. Slots. Craps. <laughs> Emily. They called him the Duke of Flatbush. Who? <laughs> Since the game is ancient and all. I don't even know what craps is. How does that even fucking work? Duke Wellington. It's the dice game from season two of Kaiji. I've never watched that, ever. Duke Snyder. Stuns. What do we usually call the cooperative for American Relief Everywhere? What? friend is sending me reviews from when this game came out and the response is basically the same nato no it's probably uh care <laughs> yeah care you could that's pretty easy <laughs> stunts what racetrack is home to the kentucky derby everyone knows this So what, the response to this was just like, uh... <laughs> Do you think we are all old people or something? Thought it was called the Kentucky Bur Derby? Yeah, but it's the, the race track. NASCAR? Okay. I have no fucking idea. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Why are there so many horse racing questions? Remember when it said the most popular sport in the uh, Churchill Downs? Nobody knows that. Remember when it said th the question that said horse racing was the most popular sport in America? Oh, is this the green? Which pro golfer is colorblind? Horse racing is insanely popular, even now? I always think of it as being totally dead. Tiger Woods. No. Why the fuck was I thinking of car racing? <laughs> Eight lives. <laughs> Babe Ruth. Jack Nicklaus. Jack Nicklaus. What is Cary Grant's zodiac sign? Zodiacal sign? No one says that. Paul Norman? Benny, can, can you get Paul Nerman on the phone? Aquarius. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, it was a 1 in 12 chance. Nah. Alright, 8 lives. Who? First one, three consecutive Wimbledon singles, titles. I don't know who that is. No. Graphy, most mint in America is sold to make mint julep for the Kentucky Derby. What? <laughs> what the hell? 
Venus Williams. I think she was a child at this time, but if you if you're saying this Sorry. It's gonna be like Herbert Humphrey or something. Oh, Fred Perry. Emily. Uh, I guess you have no choice but to go to showbiz. <laughs> I like how the fact that this is running at 50 frames per second tells me this is a British game. Why? <laughs> I googled it after answering and it's apparently not even Aquarius, it's Capricorn. <laughs> uh... No, the C64 was just a European console, right? I thought there was American games, though. Well, I'm gonna start this round. Emily, show biz. Who was controversial comedian satirist Alfred Schneider? What? 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 <laughs> what? Huh? Mel Brooks? I'm sorry. Carrot Top. <laughs> Lenny Bruce? I don't know. I'm not fucking a million years old, so I don't know these motherfuckers. Stunts. The arts. Five. What American realist artist painted 318 Saturday evening post covers? Nor Norman Rockwell. Fuck you. <laughs> I can't believe you're gonna win this. I guess you still have two questions to bomb out and hit zero. So, you know. You could die. It's, it could still happen. Alright. Eight lives. It's your turn. For showbiz. Who were Ralph and Alice Cramden? <laughs> I don't know. Murderers? Con artists, break dancers, the honeymooners. <laughs> Congratulations! You have gained fifty points. <laughs> Emily, what was the only Hitchcock film to star Paul Newman? Psycho? No. No, Emily. No. Torn Curtain? I've never heard of that movie in my life. <laughs> what are carved cedar logs used by Pacific Northwest Indians as family crests? Stretcherdeem? Thank you. Urgh. This one's very easy. Yes. Right. One hundred percent natural. In Star Wars, Carrie Fisher played Princess. Better spell this right. I don't know how to spell it. Eight lives. <laughs> Why are there, okay. What? <laughs> what?
That's how you can tell this came out in the 80s. What was Mike Mannix Connor's football nickname in college? This is a sports question. This is not a showbiz question. Linux. <laughs> I mean, her name is Leia Organa, but I don't think anyone calls her that in the movie. Aside from like, ah, oh, Princess Leia Organa, and then they never mention it again. <laughs> Who translated the English poems of Persian poet Omar Khayyam? 1859. It doesn't fucking matter. You're gonna win. No matter what. I hate you. You're demodded. Stun. <laughs> so British culture thief. Whew. I'm kind of... Edward Fitzgerald. I'm getting, I'm getting kind of a headache from laughing too much. <laughs> Eight lives. What famous sci-fi writer and poet wrote the screenplay for Moby Dick? Moby Dick. <laughs> Ishmael Dick. <laughs> the screenplay? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Probably H.G. Wells or something, right? I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? Ray Bradbury, what? Emily. Your final chance. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? Nothing is happening, <laughs> no matter what key I press. Use your psychic powers to glitch the game. Impressive. Well, very anticlimactic. <laughs> Stunts, I guess you win. I guess. I guess you win. I guess. I guess. Congratulate me. Oh. Good job. The game's angry Augursley's prediction was wrong. <laughs> well. Looks like we have to play again. No, I don't think that we will. <laughs> I'm very tired. I've pressed all of the number keys. I pressed every key on the keyboard. <laughs> Wait, you guys actually bet your channel points on that poll at the beginning? I can't make up an impossible question. I don't know anything. It's okay, Atatagiggers died so Augursley could rise. Maybe you're the real winner, Augursley. Oh my god. What an anti-climax. <laughs> what a bunch of shit. <laughs> oh. Well, uh... Who first discovered stale reference manipulation in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? I don't even know what that is. I've never heard of that in my life. I don't know anything about that. Augursley the Chosen. 
I would have won anyway. It was literally a foregone conclusion. Yeah, because you were. You have the big brain to best the tough questions. Who invented the backflip? <laughs> the typo it was very good. So sleepy. <laughs> Backflip. Wow. I'm surprised it was uh, able to pronounce that. <laughs> oh my. Well, let's see who's on. We can raid. This was fun. <laughs> I feel like the questions this time were uh, even more bullshit than normal. <laughs> if that's possible. Um. But, man, <laughs> it's still pretty damn fun. <clears throat> Who's online? Who's online? Let's see. Oh my god, right. I hate Twitch ads. Thanks for the stream. Yep, thank you all for coming. And thanks for participating. <laughs> this is really fun. Liquid quartz display my ass. Yeah, if you had actually gotten that. And uh, what was the other bullshit one that you got, Augursly? <laughs> oh yeah, cyan. <laughs> for <laughs> cows after giving birth. That was pretty pretty rude as well. The fucking cyan. Let's see. Let's see. Let's let's see. Who will that be? There's quite a few people streaming right now. It's kind of surprising. Ah, well, tomorrow, while I'm selecting this, uh, tomorrow, what are we gonna do? I guess we gotta get back to Deathmark. Um, I wanna keep playing it. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I've been kind of like putting it off for a couple of days. Um, and we gotta get something else. I mean, I don't know, can I? Uh, can I play, can I play a, a, a uh, Dragon Quest game on stream? Is that allowed? How long are they? <laughs> it's illegal. You will die. Oh no. Oh no. Let me see. Let me look at how long to beat. Um, I'm thinking two or six. Wow, six is pretty fucking long. Ooh boy, that might be a bit much for a stream. Oh my. <laughs> uh... They are long, very. Three was fine. Three was not that long. It was like perfect length. Dragon Quest 1 on the Famicom for Hell Redeem. Oh no. Do 5? Nah, I've already played most of 5 before. The grind at the end of 2 is insane. The grind at the beginning of 2 is insane. I'd probably play this, the Super Famicom version if I was going to be playing it. I guess. I never knew where to start with the Dragon Quest. I guess any of them really. I've never even seen two. Played one and three. Yeah, one and three are pretty good. Seems like two is kind of the odd one out. People don't seem to like it very much, but. Can we turn off the awful music? Why? It's good. You got a problem with it? You don't like this? I put it up to the highest volume I can and it seems really quiet still. <laughs> it's like a 10 second loop. <laughs> Fine.
fine. I'll turn it off. I'll keep the photo sensitivity warning for for the future. Um. <laughs> Could try Dragon Quest Ten. You know, I started to uh, I started to try playing Eleven, and I think I just don't like it. I don't think I I don't think I really like Dragon Quest in that like. Oh, it's a grand, th full 3D RPG with a, you can roam around in the fields. I don't know. I kind of don't know if it's. Uh, I I can't get into it. Bounced off eight after two hours. Eleven is a huge, huge investment. Yeah, it's insanely long, right? Should try it again. It seems like people like eight a lot. I. I don't know. I couldn't uh, get into 11 from what I've seen. <clears throat> what about playing 11 in the 2D mode? I've heard that the 2D mode is kind of kind of really bare bones. And, like, does not live up to even, like, some of the remakes on, on the Super Famicom. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick something else. <sighs> I want to play an RPG, kind of. But, I don't know. I don't know. Where? Whoa. Oh, Dream Harrier is on. I didn't even see that before. All right. Hey, Mocha. I'm actually just about to raid and uh, put an end to the stream. Hey, I know a JRPG you could play. In fact, you're already a quarter of the way through. Do you mean Nocturne? I feel like everybody's playing that right now. Putting an end to things, yeah. Putting an end to all things. Night and baby? Oh, God. I guess we could get back to night and baby. God damn. Octopath? Nah. Not interested, really. Not. I mean, not on stream, I don't think. Uh, I mean, like, Saga Frontier? Hey, the, the remake did just come out. It looks interesting. The graphics are amazing. Maybe one of the three nocturne smt games i've played a a lot of smt one i kind of I, I didn't really get into two very much i tried to final fantasy 12 you know i got to the last dungeon of 12 and then stopped <laughs> i was i was just talking about this recently getting to the end of games and then stopping 12 was one of those games i was sick to bastard death of 12 at the very end i was i was mad i was just like no <laughs> no more not doing it anymore it's making me feel sick, motion sick, brain sick. Get that rat brain sickness from playing a game like that. I don't know. It's a little evil. Barkley shut up and jam. I don't know. I don't know if I really want to play that. Probably want to play that on my own to make sure that it's not got any like nasty jokes or anything in it. Yeah, the writing is not good in 12. It likes starts to gesture at being good and then it just turns into the crystal ah the nethocyte ah the manufactured nethocyte the magocyte the goddess magocyte oh the nethocyte that's just like all of the dialogue after a certain point is them just talking about crystals like it starts out seeming like it's going to be a political drama <laughs> and then it's just crystals i don't know <laughs> i don't get it Ah, the genuflected nethocyte. It's no vagrant story. It's not even any Final Fantasy tactics. And that game also kind of lost its way in terms of the writing after a promising start. I don't know. I'll be I'll be brainstorming, I guess. I'm tired. I'm tired. I want to go eat pizza and take a bath. You're not going to deny me that, will you? 
Well, we'll figure we'll figure something out. I'll just look at my my games list and think. Get out of here, scram, kid! Don't forget the energy drinks. Yeah, I guess I should go get that. <laughs> I, I would like to have energy drinks. Pets for Gruffy's brain. Yeah, my brain does feel a little a little raw. You won't. I'm not gonna forget the energy drinks. No, I won't forget them. Bathe in energy drink. Don't. I like to drink an energy drink in the tub. Damn, I wanted to see if you'd watch the thing. What thing? Did you get your license sorted? Yeah, I got my temporary license uh, printed. I'm still waiting for the, the real one to arrive, though. The show? What show? Oh, Super Cub? Hmm, I might be too tired. I'm sorry. I know, I know that we missed uh, Friday. Because I was, I was sleeping. I'm sorry. Let's see. We're going to raid Dream Harrier Live, who is, uh, I think, uh, Snake Man? I, there, it's like a, a collective, like a team, I guess. I've never, I've only watched Snake Man play alone. But if you know Snake Man from, uh, from the Discord server, and by the way, if you're out there watching and you want to join the Discord server, look at my about, um, and you can get a link and come on in and hang out with us. We have a lot of fun. We have a pretty damn active Discord server for the number of people in there. <laughs> um, so yeah. Anyway, we're gonna raid. Uh, I have not actually seen Dream Harrier with. It's, it looks like there's a lot of people there. It looks like there's like seven people uh, here. I have no idea. Um, I don't know anything. Anyway. Um. Yep. So yeah. Uh. Have anything else to say? Uh, no. Thank you for coming. I'll see you tomorrow if you're going to be back. And, um, yeah, have a nice night. And see you later. Yep, there we go. Bye-bye. Yeah, the entrance.